for example, when you re want to repeat something, you say, I don't know how many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Important. Can you tell us? Well, you know, what I do when I do visual uh, guided meditations or prayers or affirmations, and oftentimes in my teachings, I have people repeat things out loud. It's because when you say something out loud, repetitively, mm -hmm. you're, you're allowing your subconscious mind to know that it's safe, to know that it's familiar. Mm -hmm. So for example, if in my subconscious mind, I have a deep belief that says there's bad on this planet and only more bad will come, then I am programming myself to only look for evidence that confirms that. But if I have retrained my subconscious mind to be open to the fact that children are being set free, children have been set free, mm -hmm. and even though I haven't seen it yet with my own eyes, I know only good will come of all of this. And as you train your mind to accept authentically, to accept that possibility, then your mind starts looking for evidence of that. And if everyone in the world at this moment was looking evidence of only good will come of this, we'd already be living in a planet of world peace. Mm -hmm. So all it requires is a certain number of us on this planet to start looking for the positive in things, and it will create a tipping point where the rest of the world will start seeing things from a positive place. Mm -hmm. So we're taking a collective unconscious and we're creating a collective conscious. And so if a certain number of us get together and start to say, yes, bad things are here, and yet only good things will come of it and start looking for that every day, we're going to start tipping the scales and all of a sudden earth will feel like a heavenly realm. And all of a sudden more people will have more resources and more opportunities instead of earth feeling like an insufferable place to be. So it's not just for ourselves, it's for the world, it's for the future generations, it's for making peace with our ancestors who came before us. This is really the opportunity we have to co-create heaven on earth for the well-being of all. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so it is. <laughs> and when, when you do the affirmation, I, I read also that, well, and I know that also, it's important, the feeling. I would say it's the affirmation that awakens the feeling. Um, I would say that, you know, because if you're not feeling a positive feeling, it's because there's something inside of you that needs to be healed. So then we go back to loving ourselves. But when you do the affirmation enough, you're going to feel a very positive energy. And what's very confusing for a lot of people is that you will feel more positive on an energetic and emotional level before it looks like the world becomes a better place to be. So the conflict people have in their egos is they say, well, how can I feel so good when so many people have less? And, it, and then we shut down. And we say, only until everyone has more will I allow myself to feel that good. But what we don't realize is that when you allow yourself to feel good, it doesn't mean you're laughing at someone. It doesn't mean you're not caring for someone. It means the feeling in your body is telling you that you are carrying a higher vibration of consciousness. What you're feeling is what's radiating out to the world. And what radiates out into the world, if you let it radiate out of you, will start to, over time, take shape and form as the better world you want to see. Mm -hmm. So we can't be fooled into thinking, oh, I feel good, but people are suffering, so I got to shut this down. We have to say, my feeling good is telling me the kind of energy I'm putting out in the world. And if I let myself feel good, I'm going to help transform the world, which is going to help things become the way I want it to be. So it's not feeling bad because of how good we feel. Feeling good is literally our participation in changing the planet into a more conscious-based society. Do you start with the project, the project resolution? Yes. Can you tell us what it's like? <laughs> project resolution is a free call I do every single month where I lead meditations and I pull together light workers and earth angels from all over the planet where we're all doing a meditation together, focusing on global peace. Every call will have a different subject matter. The first call was on 
visualizing the children held at borders of the U.S. freed out of cages, visualizing men and women who are caught in human trafficking, freed and sent home to their families, and even healing and transforming the people that are running these human trafficking and bringing them into a reborn consciousness so that they themselves are not participating in such uh, suffering and abuse. So every call I do is about using our energy to visualize and to affect positive change on the planet. Because there's so many of us that will sit around, wait for politicians to do things, and then they don't do things and we lose faith. And what's interesting is that the political world is different than the spirit world. Mm -hmm. So we can lose faith in politics, but we can't lose faith in the universe. So when I gather people together once a month, it's for all of us to come together to energetically be the change we want to see. And every month, whether it's focusing on cooling down the temperature of the earth, whether it's about freeing all the children, whether it's about make, you know, spreading distribution of wealth around the world, whether it's visualizing countries in conflict and bringing peace to both of those lands. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity for human beings to each month be a part of a free call where we give our energies for the greater good of the world and knowing and noticing that when I give my energy to the greater good of the world, how much better of a world I will perceive. So it's for the world and it's for us at the same time. Yes, I participate after the call. I have the chance to do it. Yeah. And I, wow, the energy that I felt was amazing. It's powerful. I, feel, I am feeling everything. And something that I, I have realized that when you, I don't know, how, how do you say this is a kind of praying, it's a kind of... Mm -hmm. So why do you say it so many times? 